Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will be discussing the balance sheet. The topics we will be covering are, we will understand the terms on a balance sheet, and we will prepare a balance sheet. Let's begin by taking a look at a balance sheet and defining some of the terms. This is a balance sheet. A balance sheet describes the financial condition of a firm at one point in time. The assets are the total value of everything owned by a business at a particular time. The liabilities are the amount owed by the business to others. The owner's equity, or net worth, is the difference between the total of all assets and the total of all liabilities. Now let's prepare a balance sheet. Lopez Manufacturing has land worth $8,750, accounts payable total $49,230, notes receivable are $2,600, accounts receivable are $37,820, cash is $14,800, buildings are $21,930, notes payable are $3,780, owner's equity is $54,320, Long-term notes payable are $18,740. Mortgages total $26,330. Inventory is $49,680. And the fixtures are $16,820. Now let's enter all these figures on our balance sheet for Lopez Manufacturing. You can see that we have entered all of the current assets, cash of $14,800, notes receivable, $2,600, accounts receivable $37,820, and inventory of $49,680. We add these assets to get total current assets of $104,900. Now let's enter the plant assets, land $8,750, buildings $21,930, and fixtures of $16,820. We total those assets to get $47,500. And then we add current assets to plant assets to get total assets of $152,400. Now we enter our liabilities. Notes payable, $3,780. Accounts payable, $49,230. We add these values to get total current liabilities of $53,010. We enter our long-term liabilities, mortgages payable $26,330, long-term notes payable of $18,740. We add these to get long-term liabilities of $45,070. We add the current liabilities and the long-term liabilities to get total liabilities of $98,080. Next, we subtract total liabilities from total assets, $152,400 minus $98,080 to get $54,320, which is owner's equity. Now we add total liabilities and owner's equities, $98,080 to $54,320 to obtain $152,400. In this section, we discuss the balance sheet. The balance sheet is an important financial statement in any business, so you need to practice preparing the balance statements in this section so you can prepare one for a business, hopefully, someday.